let's explore the new oracle multi-tenant pluggable database clone workflow this is our new hot feature that we have supported in the upcoming 4.4 release the cool part of this feature is that we are the first storage vendor to support this now let's explore how a clone automation works in a multi-tenant container database environment so you might be having an oracle database host with a database cdb1 that is container database one and as you see here i have three tenants or three different applications running on that database erp hr and finance so it is backed by a netapp on tap storage on the other side i have another database host with the database cdb2 which might be backed by netapp or even a different storage like emc or pure now with the snapshots that I've taken for my database CDB1 on an ONTAP storage, you can perform a clone of an individual tenant or a individual application to a CDB2. So in this case, I've cloned my finance PDB, that is finance application from CDB1 to CDB2. Now the coolest part here is you're able to use a finance container directly in a different database along with other containers like sales and bi containers now let's check out a cool demo of this feature i'm logging to snap center now let's check out the databases in the resources screen well i have a couple of databases now let me select cdb db3 now, as you see here, I have a couple of backups. I have a data backup and a log backup. Let me choose a data backup and press the clone button. You have two options. You can clone the entire database that is at the CDB level or clone at the individual PDB level. Now select the source PDB and provide the PDB clone name. Well, in this screen, you have two things to be done. You have to select a clone host and provide a target CDB. Now, in this example, I'm choosing the same host and the same CDB where my source database is there. You have options to customize a couple of things. You can customize your clone databases as per your wish. Now, in the recovery scope, I'm going with default and submitting the job. With that, you can see the clone job has been triggered. If you open the job, you can see the status of the job. Well, the clone got completed. Now you can see the updated status in your topology view. You can see the last entry, right? Wherein there is a clone associated with that CDB. So here is a different case where I'm trying to clone a PDB to a different container running in a different host. I'm choosing CDB DB5 as my target DB. Choosing the same backup, and again press the clone button i'm repeating the same steps choosing the source pdb pdb3 and provide a pdb clone name so here's the only screen that you need to do some edit so you have to provide two things you need to select the clone host that is your target host to house your pdb clone Now you need to select the CDB running in that host. With that, rest of the steps are same. I'm keeping default and submitting the job. So once the clone got complete, you can check the status of your clone by running this command. Well, you can see CPDB3 is available. 
with that you have seen two cases the first being cloning on the same container of the same host the second being creating a clone to a different container in a different host 